here. You're so cute. Hey, does anybody know what's coming up this week? Good guess. Christmas, you're absolutely right. And Christmas is a time, do sometimes you guys get gifts? Well, that's a good thing. That means you've been good this year, right? Mmm, Santa's listening. Um, so, the tradition of gift giving, guys, comes because on the first Christmas, we got the greatest gift that we could possibly get. God sent his son as a little baby. It was a gift to all men who wanted that gift. And that gift brought another gift with it. Because, you know, I can't look at Chris Christmas without looking at Easter. Because the gift of the baby Jesus was that he would grow up and that he would love us so much that he would actually go to the cross and die so that our sins could be taken care of. That's what that little baby in the manger did. Now, do you know what that is? It's a dollar. Would you like that dollar? Because I can put it, I can offer it to the next, would you like that dollar? It's okay. What do you think you need to do to get that dollar? Something very simple. You got it. That's how he did it. I got another dollar. Would anybody like a dollar? Uh, I have another dollar. Would any? Ah, uh, you have only one to a customer. Now, okay. Now, you know what? If somebody was up offering you dollars, wouldn't it be silly to not take the dollar? And yet, God sent a gift to all of us. And there are so many people out there that don't take that gift. They leave the baby, Jesus, lying in the manger, and they walk on by. And even sillier than that is at Easter, when Jesus is offering us the gift of salvation, and all we have to do is take it, just reach out there and say, Jesus, I want that salvation, and take it. And when we do, we're given the right to be called children of God. Children of God. A child of God. Don't you want to be God's children? Trust me, the more you learn about God, the more you want him for your dad. You guys might have great dads, but God is the best dad of all the dads. He's your dad's dad. So... I want you to remember that. Christ is like that dollar bill. If you don't take them, you don't have it. Don't ever forget that. And always choose to take Jesus. Would you, there's only three of us today, but it's Jesus' birthday, and I would like to pray a little happy birthday to him. So if I pray, then you say it after me, okay? And loud enough so that everybody back there can hear you on my speaker, okay? Dear Lord Jesus, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Jesus, I love you so. I accept your gift. And I want you in my life forever. Amen. Thank you very much, kids. No, no, that's yours. Jesus doesn't take the gift back. Nor do I.